Hello, and welcome to this presentation, Measuring AM Modulation Depth with the Rodian Schwartz FPC. In this short presentation, we'll show you how to measure the modulation depth of an AM signal using a Rodian Schwartz FPC series spectrum analyzer. This presentation assumes an understanding of both basic spectrum analyzer operation as well as amplitude modulation. If you're unfamiliar with these topics, or if you'd like a brief refresher, you might want to watch the presentations Understanding Basic Spectrum Analyzer Operation and or Understanding Amplitude Modulation before beginning this presentation. To access AM modulation depth measurements on the FPC, first press the Measure Hard key, then press Measurement Mode and select AM Modulation Depth. Recall how we measure AM modulation depth in the frequency domain. We need to measure both the level of the unmodulated carrier and the level of the modulated sidebands. Calculate the difference between them, and then use our equation to derive modulation index M. The AM modulation depth measurement on the FBC does exactly this. It automatically places three markers, one on the peak, which is assumed to be the carrier, and two on the next highest peaks, assumed to be the sidebands. The difference between these amplitudes is then used to calculate AM modulation depth. Although the FPC handles most of the measurement tasks and calculations automatically, there are several things we need to configure manually on the FPC. First, we have to specify the center frequency of the carrier. Next, we need to decide on our span. Remember that the modulating frequency determines how far the sidebands are from the carrier. In this example, the modulating frequency is 1 kHz, so the distance from the carrier to the sideband is also 1 kHz. A good rule of thumb when measuring AM signals is to set the span to 3 times the modulating frequency, in this case 3 kHz. A span that's too wide or too narrow could lead to incorrect results. Additional configuration steps include things such as positioning the three markers, setting the reference level, configuring resolution bandwidth, etc. But the recommended procedure is simply to press the Adjust Settings button and let the FPC adjust them automatically. If you do need to manually position the markers, you can do this using the three marker buttons. One situation in which you might need to manually reposition markers is when a spurious signal is incorrectly detected as a sideband. This can be avoided using the threshold setting. Signals below this user-defined level will be ignored by the analyzer when it searches for the sidebands. For example, our threshold, the blue line, is set to minus 60 dBm in order to avoid accidentally choosing this nearby spurious signal as a sideband. Let's summarize what we've covered. AM modulation depth can be easily measured with a spectrum analyzer such as the FPC. Although most of the measurement is automated, the center frequency and the span will need to be manually configured. A good rule of thumb is to set the span to three times the highest modulating frequency. Marker placement and other settings like resolution bandwidth are automatically configured through the Adjust Settings button, but all three markers can be manually placed if need be. And finally, setting a threshold can prevent spurious signals or noise from being incorrectly detected as sidebands. This concludes our presentation, Measuring AM Modulation Depth with the Rodian Schwartz FPC. If you'd like to learn more about AM Modulation Depth or other spectrum analyzer measurements, please see the links in the video description. Thanks for watching.